A question I get often from adult children who are caring for an aging parent is, which is best, Catherine, a small assisted living care home or one of the big facilities? And they're torn. And the key is, it all depends. There's no one is better than the other. It depends on the situation and where your parent is in their process of aging. So everybody is different. Everybody has different needs and different desires. But the key that you have to remember is, this is not about you. This is about your parent. What their needs are, what their desires are. So just because you like the granite countertops in ABC facility, doesn't mean it means a hill of beans to your mom or dad. They may be more comfortable in another facility that is a little bit more low key. So you have to look at your parents. What do they like? What kind of people are they? And chances are they may be different from you and that's okay. You also have to get really real about their needs. It's common and natural that an adult child will see their parent through rose-colored glasses. We want to believe that they still can do all of the things that they used to do. We want to believe that they're still very social when the truth may be that they're not social at all anymore. So you have to look at what is really going on with mom or dad and where they're going to fit in most comfortably. Do they have dementia? Even if it hasn't been diagnosed, you know whether they do or not. And you know how bad it really is deep down inside, even though you might not be quite ready to admit it. So look at all of these different things. How much physical assistance do they need? Do they need somebody to help them bathe them and dress them? Do they need somebody to escort them to the dining room to encourage them to go to activities? Do they need someone to help with toileting? Uh, are they a fall risk? These are all the questions that you want to ask and you want to look at. Now let's look at the pros and cons of both sides. In a big assisted living facility, there's going to be a whole lot more going on. There's going to be lots of different activities. They usually will have a full-time activity director. And I would highly suggest talking to that person about the different things that they do and what they do to get your parent involved. They also are going to um, be a little bit more structured. Than, than the smaller care homes. So dinner will be at a certain time, breakfast at a certain time, lunch at a certain time, and your parents will have to follow their schedule. Uh, and some of the care homes, not as much. They might be a little bit more flexible with that. So that's something to consider. Is your parent a fall risk? If your parent is truly a fall risk, meaning they've been having multiple falls and somehow you've lucked out, maybe they haven't broken anything yet, but you know that day could be coming and could be coming soon. A big facility might not be able to really handle all of the implications of somebody who's a fall risk. If your parent is way down the hall, and he falls in his apartment, how long is it going to take before somebody shows up? And a lot of times you'll be told, well, they'll be given the button to put around their neck to push. Will your dad remember to push that button? Or will he be like my mother-in-law and lay there on the floor, forgetting that he had a button around his neck? These are things to consider and look at. In the small care home, if your parent is very mobile, they're very active, they're not going to be happy. It's a small environment. 
There's nowhere really to go. It's a house. It's a house. There's going to be anywhere from 5 to 15, depending on the particular care home that you look at. But it's a small environment. And if your parent is pretty mentally uh, with it and they um, are very active physically, they're not going to be happy there. A bigger facility is going to suit their needs better. If, on the other hand, they're not that social anymore, they prefer to sit in their room a lot, and you know that that's not healthy, a care home is going to be a better place for them. They're going to make sure everybody comes out in the front room. Though they won't have as many activities as the big places, they will have some activities, and they'll have the camaraderie of a small group. Someone with dementia, especially in those beginning to middle stages, is often more comfortable in a small environment. There's less people to remember. There's less names to remember. There's less um, uh, things going on. And that activity level is, is a lower level, which is just easier for them to navigate. So look at the truth. What's really going on with mom or dad? What do they want? What do they, um, their needs dictate? And make your best decision. I'm Katherine Watson. Go to Find Houston Senior Care. You can find all kinds of communities on the website and uh, lots of other articles and videos. We even have an Ask a Professional section where you can ask questions and a professional will give you a professional answer. Katherine Watson, Find Houston Senior Care.